Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of The Howler. Episode 3. Hey gang, it's a pleasure to be with you in your YouTube living room tonight. Or in your bedroom, or wherever the case may be. We're down in the basement, so hey, we can't complain. The man cave. The man cave. The music room man cave, that works. Uh, I am... Once again, Ian Allen. And I'm Joe Submit. And welcome to Hanging Out With Us Goofballs, huh? Oh, yeah. Today, what we got in store for you guys, as you may saw, the name of the episode is Open Season on Winter. And that means we're going to be talking about winter first, and then we're going to be talking about... Gun control. Yeah. Which, by the way, one thing we have, we disclose, and we should have disclosed... Last time it was a little more about holidays, so we got to have a little more goofy fun with it. This time there will be a little more serious nature to it, at least when it comes to the gun control. It's very serious, man. Very serious. Yes, very serious. Um, so, very serious. Uh, okay, okay, Joe. You block my face. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, very funny. You can't see me. Woo. Uh, anyway, um... Okay, <clears throat> just had to get my composure there for a minute. Um, it's a pleasure once again to be joining us and jo wait, no, joining you and just sharing. But I put a disclaimer out there right now. Everything we say is more opinion based than anything else. Uh, we do have some experience with dealing with these things. I mean, winter more so comes from opinion over gun control, but hey, we'll work with it anyway. So that's the show. Uh, starting out now, we got some shout outs to send out. Uh, starting here, uh, first shout out I want to send out is to my good friend Bertina Parkhurst. Hey, girl, it's a pleasure. Hope everything's going well for you, girl, and love you watching. Much love, sis. I hope work's going good and everything. Uh, also, send out a shout out to my good friend Amber Welty. She asked for a shout out, and here you go, Amber. Hey, told you you'd get one. Though actually, I didn't technically, but you know how that goes. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's uh, been also. I send a shout out to uh, Nathan Dively. He gave me the suggestion. He sent us the suggestion for the gun control. So much love to you too, man. And uh, I appreciate uh, your suggestion. And finally, send a f shout out to the Monday breakfast, or why did I say breakfast? Lunch crew over at High V. Uh, miss you guys. Hope to be eating with you guys sometime soon when I get a day off. So, anyway, take care. Hope to see you soon. And my personal shout out to Miss Florence Nightingale and all of our student nurses and nurses everywhere, and my personal nursing friends as well. Yep. Anyway. I'm a show. Okay, as we may know, it's that time of year, winter. <laughs> Man, winter blows, don't it? Yes, it does. Snow uh, blows. <laughs> Cold blows. Yes, it does. Ice blows. <laughs> okay, Joe. Let me get the point. Uh, we're not fans of winter, as you can tell. Um, like I said, we're actually tonight as we're shooting, it's a very nasty night out. They have sleet, snow, ice, cold, the whole deal. The whole kit caboodle. It was not fun driving out tonight. Oh, Slipping no, and sliding and going like this, you feel like you're on a roller coaster, man. It's not even cool. Uh, like I said, winter carries so many dangers, but especially with driving. It drives me nuts. Don't try this at home. No kidding, don't try this at home. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, it's kind of fun, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're being a little too goofy. But the point is, most of the danger comes when you're on the road and out. But also, there's some day, some of the day, I mean, we hate, we hate cold. And we know what cold brings are colds, flu, and every, all sorts of different types of sickness. We can do without that. No one likes to be sick, but it 
You can even freeze to death. So, I mean, the winter... Hypothermia. Yeah. Vasoconstriction of the Okay, arteries. okay, okay. Hype. Yeah, that's a big one, too. There's a lot of things with winter that just are not cool. I mean, the no, list goes on and on. Keep Take care of yourself. Keep healthy. Eat plenty of oranges. Drink plenty of orange juice. All the healthy greens, and veggies. chicken broth. Yep. And also be sure to keep it warm. Everybody keep warm as best you can. But as long with the bad, there's also the good with winter. I mean, but especially when you get to go play in the snow, huh? Snowball you, fights. I don't so much do it anymore, and I know Joey. <clears throat> I mean, no. since we've grown up a little bit more, we haven't done it as much. But man, can you recall all those cool memories? <laughs> Snowball fights. I always nailed him hardcore. Always nailed him really. Yeah, right. Right in the face, probably. Kind of reminds me of nine years ago. Don't start that story again, boy. If you... No, no. The whole world does not need to know how you shut me it out in the game of stuff. You, it doesn't have to know how you shut me up, up, eh, out in a game of softball. Strike one. Okay, strike one, strike two, strike three, start all the way to nine. Okay, that's, yes. the, that's the story. And he bloats about it every time. Did I say bloats about it or gloves about it? Anyway, uh, one of our infamous goofy adventures. Um, but anyway, snowball fights, classic. And but even riding. more sled riding. Yes, that was the all-time best part of winter. You're going down that hill. And by the way, you ever go to the hill over on South Park, dude? That yes, is one I big did. old hill. Yeah, you know, I kind of saw, like, four guys randomly standing in a field. I mean, they were a little overdressed, but uh, they were definitely dressed for winter, you know. They were kind of short. They looked like third graders. I don't know. Fourth graders. Fourth graders? Yeah? Yes, fourth yeah, graders. Yeah, I think their names were Stan, Kyle. Cartman uh, and Kenny. Cartman and Kenny. And then there was a giant snowball that rolled down and killed Kenny. Don't say you it. You killed Kenny. Don't say it. You. No. <clears throat> no. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, anyway, yeah, South Park reference of the night. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, great times. Of course, when you're going down the, the hill... I, I know mean, what he is thinking. He thinks I look like Kyle. Maybe a little bit. I have not mind. I was thinking something that I'm not going to say out loud. Uh, Mother anyway... Russian? Oh, yeah. No, he's more Russian than anything else. I'll get you... you look won't. at the hat. That that tells you right there. He's, he's kind of Russian. Uh... But anyway, I hate it. Don't you hate it when you're going down the hill and you end up crashing into a tree? Yes. Oh, man, yes, that hurts. Yes. That hurts. Oh. Yeah. But then, as of course, it's always fun. Making snow angels, but skiing is something that's a whole new ball game. Oh, dude. yeah. Especially but, snowboarding. Though you fall. Oh, snowboarding. Yeah, except if you launch yourself off a cliff like while you're coyote and then you drop like a rock. That is so cool. Then you just make a huge body print in the snow and then you're kind of eh, not in a good way. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyway, but I mean, all sorts of good times. And plus, we, all sorts of movies show these romantic scenes of people playing in the snow, these couples kissing in the snow. Yeah. All these ro lovey doby stuff, you know. I mean, yeah, doesn't make you want to have a tear. Oh, tear a tear? Eh, maybe a little bit. Eh, you know, kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah, man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're having fun. We just we love doing the show, and you never know what to expect out of us, and that keeps it funny for you. But anyway, winter is it has its good and its bad, more bad than good. But hey, that's your that's your call. We won't take it from you. So. That's our take on winter. But what we say next is going to be a little more serious. Gun control has been a major issue lately, especially in our country, in light of recent tragedies this with guns. This is very serious. This is very serious, people. Yes, it is. And he really... And some of you may be laughing after his version of serious, because... Why so serious? I said it before... We even got into it, so we're good. Anyway. Take the proper precautions. Okay. Now, when it comes to guns, I personally do not own them. I do support the right to bear arms. However, it needs to be within certain limitations. Did you say a bear had an arm, firing arm? 
Wait, hey, that reminds me. Did I ever tell you about uh, that shirt I have? And some people may have seen it. I have this shirt, and I mean, it, I get a lot of comments whenever I wear it. It's called the it's called the right the right to arm bears. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. It's this shotgun the shotgun wielding grizzly bear. Yeah, it, it's it's really cool. And that's what Yogi Bear would look like. Or Winnie the Pooh. I wouldn't want to see Winnie the Pooh with a shotgun. I'm sorry, but that huddy grubbing little yellow bear would not be cool with a shotgun. I'm I'm saying this right now. But I definitely concur to that one. That bear can really do some damage. No kidding. Especially if he's after his honey. Oh. <laughs> anyway. He likes to lick honey from everywhere, but... No kidding, he's a bear. Anyway, guns are, it's a very serious issue. Um, with the, the, the two, as I said before, the two issue, the two main uses should be only hunting and protection. The only people who should have them are simple. Private citizens trying to protect themselves. Only that. That are sane. Insane. And that's another thing. With the common Joe, yeah, don't take the, Uses right, right, wrongly. The common average Joe who walks into a gun store to get a to get one of these things should be not only trained to use it, but also get a psychic a psych evaluation before they are allowed. That's what they call an assessment. Yes, we have too many nuts out there who get a hold of these things, and we need to keep the nuts away from the guns. Too many crazy people with guns is not a good thing. We know this to be true. So we need to get, I promote psych evaluations to get a gun. Psychological assessment. Although that could come with other consequences, but we won't go into that. But anyway, um, just saying this to the government, I mean, there's a big issue on it and <clears throat> what to do with it, and I'm just saying this. Put some psych evaluations and train people. And make sure only certain types of people, I'm saying private citizens, who you know are law-abiding, military, police, hunters, sportsmen. Hunters and sportsmen are Leave the same it at thing. that. At the five-time, 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 five, five-time five right gun bearers. And leave it at that. I mean, it's not that simple, and I know that. It's not easy, kids. And there are so many victims because of the wrong people get their hands on it. They need to keep them off the street with the wrong people. Keep the right type of guns in the right type places. It's a matter of just using common sense. Come on. Yes, indeed. And that's <clears throat> our piece on guns. Yes. Yeah, although, you know, Winnie the Pooh and Yogi would make an interesting team with guns. They'd probably... They would kill us all. Of course, they'd probably go after Bambi. Oh, there goes Bambi. Uh, oh, I think I saw his cousin. Yeah, shall we have a moment of silence for Bambi? No. <laughs> Wait, I just remembered. Mm -hmm. I ate Bambi. <laughs> you what? Yep, I ate Bambi the other... Well, wait, it's been a little over a month ago, but I had Bambi. I can't believe you. Can't believe me, huh? Anyway, look at the time. Uh -oh. It's been fun today. Uh oh, I thought I saw Bambi's cousin. Uh, yeah, before Bambi's cousin comes after us, we once again say thank you for watching and join us again next time for uh, another edition of that. Yeah, the Howler. <laughs> Peace out, homies. <laughs>